Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and I'm going to put off Grunty's Industries as much as possible. Honestly, I, I hate this world, it is my least favorite world in the game. So we are going to do side stuff for the moment. First and foremost, uh, oh nice, a click, uh, click clock egg, or, yeah, clockwork egg, that's the word I'm looking for. I need those. Uh, first and foremost, with the last recording session, we hit another five... Cheeto pages, so we're gonna run over to Cheeto and get those to him, so we can get yet another cheat, and if I remember, this is a pretty good one. Uh, I don't really remember, though. Uh, hello there, Cheeto. Uh, no, don't hurt Kazooie, I wanna talk to Cheeto. Yes, new secret cheat, please. Spill the beans, give you your precious pages, there you go, what's the cheat? Um... Fall proof. Alright, that's a pretty good one. Basically, you won't take damage no matter how far you fall. So that really helps in worlds like, uh, uh, Terry Dactyl Land, where there's a huge mountain in the middle that you have to climb, and you just happen to fall off, now you won't take any damage. So now I'm going to meet you guys at Mayahem Temple, where I will activate that cheat, so I will see you all in a second right there. I wonder if I can get... Let's see here. It's a pretty big goal. Oh, just barely missed. Darn it. Ah, whatever. Alright, we are now in the code chamber, so let's uh, put in that new code that we got. Uh, let's see how good my spelling is. F A Q L L Proof. And then the F again. There we go. Prevents you being her Heh. Arse. Heh. Wads. Heh. Pvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvv
Yes, please. We only need one more unit of health now, and I think we need like nine or ten for that one. So that's gonna take a while. That basically requires the rest of the empty honeycombs that we don't have yet. Yeah, she did need seven. Alright, well that works. Yeah, nine. So we have to find nine more. We have three more worlds to go, so naturally... We need all the empty honeycombs here. Alright, next up, we actually want to head to Glitter Gulch Mine. And you might be thinking, but Mateo, you already 100%ed Glitter Gulch Mine. And yes, I did do that. However, we have one other thing that we want to do real quick. There's actually a, another secret collectible here that I want to grab. Uh, just like the stop and swap eggs in um, Spiral Mountain, for whatever reason, there's another item related to that in uh, Glitter Gulch Mine. I have no idea why it's here, but you know, whatever. It works, I guess. So we want to head over here, jump on over, and head in here again. There is another way to get to this room, but I honestly, for the life of, the, my life of me, can't tell you how. This is just easier for me because it's right by the entrance. So we have this Kazooie rock right here, so let's go ahead and bust that open check out what we have going on here. I already know what it is. Most of you probably already know what it is, but just in case you don't, we will see soon enough. So swim through this tunnel and we will go to a new area that we actually haven't seen yet, surprisingly, considering how many worlds we've been to already. Okay, oh yeah, we are in Hailfire Peaks, the icy side. So I guess I can give you guys a little preview of what's to come. Um, other than massive amounts of lag, holy crap. Wow, I swear, this is on an actual Nintendo 64. It is just lagging like mad. Although they really push the limits of the hardware with this game. Rare usually has a knack of doing that, but especially in this world and Banjo-Tooie in general, I mean, these worlds are huge. So right here we have a Globo, but it's as big as Banjo, holy crap. Let's grab him. Yep, we have indeed caught the legendary Mega Globo. Now the question becomes, where the heck does this thing go? And, well, you might remember, there is a Wumba in the Isle of Hags that we haven't given a Globo to yet. And if you actually go in and talk to her, she says that she needs like a Super Globo or something like that in order to perform her magic. So we want to go and do that real quick. So I will meet you back at the Isle of Hags outside of Wumba's hut. So I will see you all in a second. Alright, we're right outside of Wumba's wigwam now, so we're gonna go in ahead and give her that there Mega Globo that we got. And we will get the ultimate transformation. Let's talk to her. Okay. Well, we have the legendary Mega Globo. Yep, that's correct. That's pretty correct, if you don't know where it is. Then you need the ice key as well, so it's all the more difficult to find. Yes, I do have the Mega Globo, and I will give it to you for $19.99. Five easy payments. Alright, she paid all at once, apparently. And so let's jump into the Wumba Pool and get the ultimate transformation. It took us, like... 20 parts to find the stuff necessary. Nothing changed. Dragon, I'm I'm a bear. I'm not a Ooh. Awesome. Alright, that's it. We're torching this place. Okay, apparently she has flame proof what you call it's on the wall. I wonder. Yes, we can still do that, that's hilarious. Alright, so we get Dragon Kazooie, which, first of all, her peck attack is replaced by a never-ending fire attack, and really neat the enemies actually run away from it, if they can. However, sometimes they're just not so lucky. Also, interestingly enough, we have unlimited fire eggs. Which is pretty nice as well, and she looks pretty cool as well. I mean, she's a freaking dragon. Look at that. 
However, most people don't really like Dragon Kazooie too, too much. Um, so I'm going to come with a comp compromise here. I'm going to show off Dragon Kazooie for this recording session, and then I'm going to uh, change back afterwards. So just for this recording session, I'm going to be Dragon Kazooie. And I can see why people don't like Dragon Kazooie so much. It has like a deeper voice, kind of. And, well, it's not the Kazooie we know and love. It's not the bird. It's a dragon. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do this recording session, which will only be two or three videos long, to show off Dragon Kazooie. And then after that, we'll be back to the good old Baron Bird. Yeah, her voice does sound a bit weird in the dragon form, honestly. Alright, but here we are in a brand new section of Quagmire. Uh, well, actually, we are in a brand new section of the Isle of Hags called Quagmire. Uh, giggity giggity goo. Um, that was like the most monotone giggity giggity goo. Actually, that was. Never mind. But either way, that was the mono most monotone one of those I could have done. Hey, a Minjo. Let's light him on fire. Take that, you jerk. Alright, let's get into the new world, Grunty's Industries. Now, immediately upon walking into this room, you will see... She closed the door on us! Well, great. We're gonna have to do something to take care of that. So... Hi. Ha! Ah, your thick fat ability couldn't save you. Oh man, I'm gonna have fun with this while I can. Okay, so you don't want to jump in the sludge, honestly, because you'll get bitten and you lose a unit of health. But I have so much health at this point that I don't really care too much. So, honestly, I'm just going to run around here as though I own the place and not that giant muncher guy does. Um, so right over here, I want to say. There, there we go. We have the train switch right here. So let's go ahead and activate that. If it would ever load. There we go. So we opened the train station, and, well, I hope you guys liked Grunty's Industries, because we're leaving now. Yeah, seriously, we are leaving Grunty's Industries right now. We actually have to get in there for the first time, at least, by train, which is pretty neat, honestly. I, I like that little change in the whole formula of entering a world. It's a nice little puzzle um, that's not too difficult to figure out. So it's nice. I like it. But don't worry, once we get in there, we will have the chance to open up that front door, so we'll never have to go through the train station again if we don't want to. So that's nice. But let's go ahead and uh, find a warp station or something to get to the train station here. Um, there really isn't a lot to do in Quagmire at all. Really, this place just holds the um, doors to this world and the uh, final world, and that's about it. Okay, we want to go to Clifftop, that's where the train is here. Ah oh, man. Okay, where exactly is it? At least I think it's here. Yeah, it's here, because this is where Mumbo is, and Mumbo's by the train. It's this way. Um, yeah, there isn't anything else I can do to backtrack right now. We have to start Grunty's Industries, unfortunately. I still haven't looked up where that final egg is that I'm missing in, uh... Pterodactyl land, I've been too lazy to. I just really wanted to sit down and record this freaking game, honestly, so I'm doing that. I'll probably get it, like, next part or something in the preliminary backtracking stuff. Okay, you're enjoying the cave paintings, that's nice. I like how he has different lines based on where he is, like, Oh, I'm enjoying the cave paintings. Oh, I'm loading up coal. Oh, I'm enjoying the park attractions or whatever he says there. It's a very nice little touch. I need some water, man, so while this cutscene is going, I'm just gonna let it go. By the way, have I ever pointed out that random pterodactyl-type enemy in the, like, way down in the fog there? I have no idea what's up with that guy, he's just hanging out, and he never, there, you like, never have a chance to kill him, and he never has a chance to hurt you. It's weird. Ah well, we are now heading over to Grunty's Industries, for real this time. 
About time. So if this train could actually get a move on, that'd be great. Oh man, that water's giving me the burps. I'm trying to hold him back, but it's not going too well. Burps too OP. Alright. Now we can get this show on the road. Like, 15 minutes into the video. Yep. Preliminary backtracking too OP. Alright, let's do this. I'm not looking forward to this too much, honestly. Grunty's Industries, as I've mentioned a couple times, I'm pretty sure, is my least favorite world. It is just massive, and it's very difficult to navigate. So, this is going to be so much fun, honestly. Okay, could I get up there, maybe? There's something I want. No, not quite like that. Is there a different way to get up here? I want to say that there's a different way to get up there. God, I'm already messing up, guys. This is this does not bode well. Oh, you know, maybe I could use the freaking stairs. You know, maybe like a civilized person. Don't have to jump onto boxes and stuff and grab on the ledge and climb up. Or anything like that. Man, holy crap. Okay, I think, yeah, there's a box here. I knew there was a Talon spring sh job thing here. Words? I don't even? This is, this does not bode well for the rest of this world. Okay, next let's creep along here, not fall off. Uh, just be careful. Okay, let's just, let's just use Banjo's amazing upper arm strength to get over here. Because we have the very first collectible in this world right over here. It is an empty honeycomb. Very well hidden, and I think actually we already have something else. Yeah, we already have one Jinjo uh, from... we actually got it from Jolly Rogers Lagoon technically, but it counted for this world, so that's something to know. Alright, so these rooms with like the security and whatnot and these drone guys, these are usually going to contain your notes for the world, at least 15 to 20 of them. Also, I'm getting kind of slightly low on health. I might want to fix that. I'm also still missing like 15, 20 notes from uh, Pterodactyl Land. I haven't looked up where those are yet either. Again, too lazy to just wanted to play the freaking game. You did not drop health. I was hoping you would drop health. So here we are in the main first floor area. Oh, oh, oh my, oh jeez. Oh, how did I get that? Okay, well that's very helpful. Man, that was going super fast though. Holy crap. Um, workers' quarters. Yeah, let's head down here first. Uh, cause this is just a really small little room here with a couple things, quick things for us to do. Um, let's go... grenades? Nope, not quite. Oh, by the way, I'm pretty sure this is another Jet Set Radio character right here. Okay, we can't blow up the female restroom, because Banjo's not a female, however we can blow up the male one. And here's a good old character, Lago. Um... God, that must have been painful. <laughs> oh, man, that's really disgusting sounding. Oh, wow, this is awful. Well, I guess it's slightly better than climbing into them and just getting flushed down. However, it's not better for Kazooie. She's going mouth first into that. Oh, oh god. Yeah, that's pretty messy. Okay, so the paper that they threw away was actually a Cheeto book page. I am really afraid that one of the rabbits... Well, you haven't seen them yet, but the workers are rabbits. I'm really afraid that one of them wipes their butt with that. Also, red toilet paper, what the heck. Okay, ow, I'm just taking all kinds of unnecessary hits right now. Um, so we have this room right here, nothing too interesting. However, over... Ah, uh, nope, where's the door? Here's the door. Nope, get through the door. Over here... We have a rabbit. These, this is one of the workers that messed up Lago. And there are like six of them in this world, and they all need their overalls to be clean. Also, this guy's a huge fan of Banjo Tooie. He has Mumbo wallpaper and a Wumba picture. Jump through that Wumba picture to rip it, because we are such huge jerks, and we actually have a sign in here. 
and he will tell you where all the filthy workers are, but I'm not going to be doing that right now, so I don't really need to know. Um, this is the only way of getting into this room, by the way. The door here is... Oh, come on. The door here is blocked off, and you can't blow it up. Uh, lastly, real quick, we have a mirror right here, which is kind of interesting. But more interesting are... Oh, no, that doesn't help. That does not help at all. Uh, go away, please. These stickers here, we have one for Donkey Kong, because Rare made Donkey Kong 64. We have one for Banjo-Tooie. Uh, one for the Rareware logo themselves. And I have no idea what those two are. I'm going to guess Perfect Dark and Jet Set Radio. Um, but I have no idea, honestly. Uh, so somebody can inform me on that. Is that the game I'm thinking of, Jet Set Radio? I've honestly never played it, whatever that shooter game for the Nintendo 64 that Rare made is. I don't remember, I've only seen like the first five parts of uh, SBW's Let's Play of that game, however many he's uploaded actually. I think it's five or something like that. Um, so I don't know too much about that game, I can't even remember the title right now. Okay. Next order of business right here. I believe that we can do this with both characters. Indeed, we can. We can get the Claw Clamber Boots, which is very helpful for us. It is yet another move. It is our final shoe upgrade. Now then, the question is, are you going to actually make it? Good, okay. Oh, man. Uh, sorry for bugging you. Uh, I almost knocked over my mic. You probably heard that and uh, I accidentally hit the B button while trying to catch it. So that was kind of bad, honestly. Next up, let's go right here and open up that main entrance so we never have to worry about going through the train again. This is one of the first things that you want to do, just by the way. Here we go. So we can open that up, get the cutscene, it'll open up on the other side, and we can get stuff done now, finally. Honestly, that cutscene was kind of unnecessary, especially with how long it freaking takes to load the cutscene. I mean, it took just as long to load as it did to actually show. Kind of slightly ridiculous, honestly. Okay, let's let's take these clock clamber boots for a spin. Why not? I feel like it. Um, we have this machine right here that we're gonna want to do something with soon. You can jump, which is nice. Uh, let's head up here. Ah, we didn't make it. Alright, whatever. I wasn't really wanting to go up there anyways, honestly. <laughs> Why did you even try? I have no idea, I just felt like doing it. What we actually want to do, or what I actually want to do at least, is head up here, except I can't jump that high. No, I don't want to head up here. Oh lord. I told you guys this would be a train wreck, because I don't know this world too much. This is usually where my playthroughs of this game stop, just because I really don't like this world. But not this time. This is where I wanted to go. Here we are. So let's jump on up. Access denial, yeah. We need batteries in order to open that up. And we've actually been near a battery once already. It's towards the uh, main entrance, and I think I'll do that next. But right now I want to grab these ten notes before I forget. Okay, so there's that, and, oh, train station, that's where we came from, alright. So yeah, next let's go ahead and grab that battery, that seems like a pretty sound plan. Uh, so we need to head back outside, right here. Feels good to have this door open, honestly. As weird as that sounds, it's just a minor little thing. Um, isn't there a thing? What do I do with these again? I need to bring them outside and do something with them, but I forget what. I think it involves a switch. Yeah, I have to head up here. Oh, no, no, no. This leads to the treble clef. Okay, I'm glad I did that. I almost forgot. Okay, good. Good. Nice. Is that... No, that's not clock clamber boots. That's just, like, yellow or something. Ah, crap. I need Just Banjo to do this. I'll meet you guys back out here with Just Banjo. So, see you all in a second.